Dear students, welcome to the problem solving session on ordinary differential equation if my right hand side is going to be some polynomial x power m. It may be x or x square etc. Let us go into the problem. Before going into the problem, let us learn some basic. In your school days, you would have learned the formula. What is 1 minus x whole power minus 1? It is going to be 1 plus x plus x square etc. up to infinity provided mod x value should be less than 1. Suppose instead of this, if you get 1 plus x whole power minus 1, the odd power will get negative. Even power terms will get positive. So it is going to be 1 minus x plus x square minus x cube etc. Next, sometime we used to get this format 1 minus x whole power minus 2. So it is very easy to remember. Just remember like this. As usual, what you put 1 x x square x cube to put as, as it is. Since both are minus, I am going to write plus. Now, here the power is minus 1. So, the formula is 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube etc. Here the power is minus 2. I am going to write this as 1 plus 2x, 3x square, 4x cube etc. We have already write this 1 plus x plus x square etc. Just put like 1, 2, 3, 4. So, it is very easy to remember the formula. Now, the next formula you would have guessed now. 1 plus x whole power minus 2. It is going to be 1 minus 2x plus 3x square minus 4x cube etc. So, these are all the preliminaries which we need for this type. Okay, let us go into the problem. As usual, I do two problems which make you more comfortable to do whatever the problem comes for your exam. Solve d square minus 4d plus 4 into y is equal to x square. First, as usual, we have to find cf. To find the cf, we need the auxiliary equation. For this, we put d equal to m. m square minus 4m plus 4 equal to 0. We get from the differential equation, which is homogeneous, that is right hand side 0. Now, it is very easy to see this is m minus 2 whole square. So, we will be getting m equal to 2 comma 2. Therefore, my cf is going to be ax plus b e power 2x because the roots are real and equal. They are repeated. You can see the typed version. Next, we are going to find the PI. PI is 1 by f of d x power m. In our problem, we have x square. In the preliminary, we see 1 plus x whole power minus 1, 1 minus x whole power minus 1. Similarly, 1 plus x whole power minus 2 and 1 minus x whole power minus 2. Now, we have to convert our denominator in any of the format. Then it is easy for us to solve the problem. Okay, let us do how to achieve it. This problem luckily is going to be real and equal root. So, I can write this as d minus 2 whole square. But I want something 1 minus whole power minus 2. To achieve this, I have to write this as 2 minus d whole square x square. We know that a minus b whole square or b minus a whole square, both are same. Now, what I am going to do, I will take this 2 outside. It will become 1 minus d by 2 whole square x square. Now, squaring the term separately, I will be getting 1 by 4, 1 minus d by 2 whole square x square. Now, I can take this to the numerator. It will become simply 1 by 4, 1 minus d by 2 whole power minus 2x square. Done. As I said many times, before knowing your opponent power, never mess up with people. Just analyze your opponent. If he is a very weaker guy, you can just carry him or you can hit him. Then you will win the game. If the opponent is very stronger, don't mess up with him. Make him a friend. Same thing is applicable here. So, before you solve this problem, we have to know the weakness and strength of the problem. See here, my polynomial is x square. I am going to apply the formula. Before applying the formula, I have to know what is d of x square. Differentiation of x square is 2x. Differentiation of x square twice, that is d square of x square is 2. So, after third derivative, everything is 0. This is the information need to us to solve the problem in a very smooth way. Now, we know the formula. 1 minus x whole power minus 2 is 1 plus 2x plus 3x square, etc. So, after square, everything is 0. So, now let us expand this data. We will be getting like this. But, we already found the weakness of this. d of x square exists, d square exists. But, from d cube, everything is 0. So, the infinite series, after this, if 
everything is zero so i don't want to worry about it i want to bother about only two terms constant term d term d square term when i multiply this with x square we know that 1 by 4 x square is x square 2 to get cancelled now differentiation of x square is 2x 3 by 4 differentiation of x square is 2x and d square of x square is 2 we did two times just we have write like this now simplifying this taking lcm i'll be getting 1 by 8 into 2x square plus 4x plus 3 this is very simple that's why i'm not explaining you much and i got my pi it is very easy now i write the general solution y equal to cf plus pi and this is my answer next problem d square plus 5d plus 6 into y is equal to x plus 1 first we have to find the complementary function let us assume d equal to 1 the auxiliary equation is going to be m square plus 5m plus 6 equal to 0 so obviously the roots are minus 2 and minus 3 therefore my cf is going to be a e power minus 2x plus b e power minus 3x you can write in the alternate way also if you take the roots as minus 3 first and minus 2 next so cf gets over i am going for my pi so as i said we have to make the problem smooth now this is not a repeated root it is a non repeated root so i have to rewrite this as 6 plus 5d plus d square x plus 1 or you can write very precious 6 plus d square plus 5d now i want 1 plus something so i will take this 6 outside do you understand student i'll write the step again just observe it if i take 6 outside i'll be getting 1 plus d square plus 5d divided by 6 into x plus 1 now i want to take this to the numerator now we have to expand it before expanding we have to know the strength and weakness of the problem so now d of x plus 1 is 1 d square of x plus 1 is 0 so all the terms are going to get diminished after d square now let us write the formula here we have 1 plus this therefore 1 plus x whole power minus 1 is 1 minus x plus x square minus x cube now instead of x we have d square plus 5d divided by 6 but now from the information we collect d square of x plus 1 is going to be 0 so here the minimum term is d square here it will become d power 4 when you expand you will be getting the another term d cube so everything after third term is zero so just first two terms are needed in first two terms also this d square is going to be zero because we have d square of x plus 1 is zero so now i just multiply this for the first two terms alone next 1 by 6 x plus 1 minus d square is going to be zero 5d is going to be 5 into 1 divided by 6 therefore my final answer is going to be 1 by 6 x plus 1 minus 5 by 6 now simplifying this we will be getting x plus 1 minus 5 by 6 that is going to be 1 by 6 into x plus 1 by 6 therefore my pi is going to be 1 by 6 into x plus 1 by 6 finally my general solution is y equal to cf plus pi that is a e power minus 2x plus b e power minus 3x plus 1 by 6 into x plus 1 by x Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel and share to your friends. See you in the next video. Bye bye.